This is day 21 of our 10K to 100K challenge. So obviously the goal is, as I just said, turn $10,000 into 100K. If you're just joining now, you can go and watch the other videos on it. However, just keep in mind, if 10K is too much, you can just decrease it. If nothing's financial advice, you can take some things that I'm doing and copy them and other things you can completely ignore. Today, we're going to go and buy a completely different ecosystem token because it's had a decent dip. Also, what we're keen on is a meme coin or a couple of meme coins, political. And finally, there's a DeFi element that we're after. So let's dive in. So this is what my portfolio is worth. Hasn't done very much. Started at 10K and now it's up to almost $11,000. Now, what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to buy some cat token with this allocation. However, this was going to be too difficult because essentially, as soon as this token launched, it forexed and we couldn't get into it. And then from a forex, well, it's now over a double. So because it's a meme coin play, we probably would have only put on $200 or $300. And if we did that, then would be basically 400 or 600. So I'm going to skip this for now, unless it comes down. If it comes down, we will add this into the rotation. I've done plenty of videos on this particular cat token on the BNB network. And the reason why I like it is very clear in those videos. So what we're after today is firstly some ton. Now we can buy the ton token, and this is related to Telegram. We can buy this if we go and buy it from a centralized exchange. That's the easiest way. Alternatively, if we don't want to do it on a centralized exchange, then there are some options out there. I just haven't researched them enough to see if they're safe. Basically, when you're going cross chain, it gets a little bit difficult. And if we go to Dbridge, they do not support the Ton ecosystem. So we can't just go and swap from Solana here and go and find Ton. It's just basically it's Solana and EVMs. Now, the reason for buying this token is because the Telegram founder has just been arrested. And even though Ton's it really has kind of removed its link a little bit from Telegram, still the price just plummeted. And there's so many things happening in this ecosystem. The market cap's fairly low. I mean, $14 billion is decent, but because... This has been going really, really well for quite some time. And because a lot of people use Telegram, like 985 million or something, I do think that this is worth buying. So at these levels, just going to buy $200. Buy it on centralized exchange if you're keen. The next thing I want to buy are some meme coins. The bonk guy says some Trump meta coins, just to be clear. He does specify which one specifically. MAGA, Trump, and Tremp. The thing is, these are on different blockchains. So if we come here and we have a look at MAGA, I said in the live stream I wouldn't buy this because the potential for it to go up considerably, probably not super high, but that's my take. And when it comes to meme coins, the bonk guy is far more brilliant. The issue with this is we need to go and buy it on Ethereum. Quite a bit of work. We'll spend a little bit of money on gas. So we're going to skip this one. We'll have a look at MAGA itself. So I haven't even heard of this actually. And I'm assuming this is the one he's meaning. It's at a $34 million market cap. We just have MAGA, Trump, and Tremp. Tremp I know about. Let's have a look at MAGA again. The only MAGA there is this one, Make America Great Again hat. Now remember, this has nothing to do with politics. If you're left wing and you want to vote on or go and buy some political coins on the left side, maybe they work out for you as well. I'm just following someone that has a very good success rate when it comes to meme coins. The final one, the one that I will be buying is some Tremp. So this has gone up a little bit and the market cap's still low at 17 million. It's probably not going to have the best tokenomics in terms of distribution. It's down considerably from its all-time high, but something like this I think is worth buying. So let's go to Jupe. We'll go to Jupe.ag. Let's have a look in our wallet. We're probably not going to have anything in here in terms of PayPal USD. So we'll pull some out. Also, just having a look here, our all trade has not done well. If it goes to zero, it goes to zero. Fortunately, though, Popcat has done well. So we're going to hit some and we're not going to hit others. With all, it's a long term horizon. Maybe it becomes the new Bitcoin. This is something that even if it goes to zero, fine. It could go back up to $1,000. Who knows? All right, so let's go to Sona Watch. Let's find out where I've got some, some money that I can withdraw. I'm farming over here in Camino. I've got some stuff in Lulo. So we're going to take out a little bit here. Get started. Now remember, it's always a good idea to try and keep 20% of your portfolio in stable coins. You can deploy them when you want to, if possible. Not everyone does this. It's just one system that you can use. If it works for you, great, it works for me. I'm just gonna go and withdraw $500. Withdraw, that should cover everything that I'm wanting to do today. So we'll approve this, we'll take this out, and let's go to Jupe and we'll take our PYUSD and we're going to go and buy some Tremp. Now there's so many different tokens out there. Not all of them are getting Mindshare and there'll be a lot more that will be generated, which will basically be just copycats and they'll go nowhere. 
So I think it's safer to go for something that's good and decent and has some sort of track record, even if it's risen up and plummeted down. If it has some sort of narrative and some sort of community, it could do well. Now, when it comes to this, the play is going to be quite small, like $200 or even like $150, just because we're only playing with $10,000. That's currently at $11,000 almost. So we'll go and swap that. Now, at this point, it's a good idea to go and set up some limit orders already in case this pumps we can just realize some profits. So we're gonna swap this, we're gonna take our tramp. We won't buy PYUSD because there's an issue with using this. Basically, it's just not liked by dupe limit orders. So instead, we'll just go with straight USDC and we'll just go with half of this for now. And I'm just gonna go and sell this at a higher rate, like 50 cents. That would be a decent return. If it doesn't fill, it doesn't fill. Then half of that's gone through. Then we'll take another half and we'll go and set at a higher rate. And then the final quarter, I'm just going to leave as a moon bag. I'm just trying to grow things and take profits when possible. Now you can see with my PayPal USD, I've got 350. Let's pretend that $200 worth of that is going to Binance or Bybit or somewhere and we're buying the TON token. We'll have to keep track of the TON token another way. I'm just buying on a centralized exchange until we learn more about the ecosystem ourselves. So now effectively we have $150 remaining. And the thing that I think is going to go very, very well is Camino. So if we go back to CoinGecko. Let's have a look at the Camino token. Here it is here. They're on their way to 10 billion TVL. And if we zoom out on max, the token hasn't done anything. It went up initially and it's come on down, but it's starting to kind of rise up. And I'm not looking at this from a technical analysis point of view. I'm looking at it as a fundamental analysis. Let's have a look at this. The market cap, 80 million. The fully diluted valuation, $592 million. And now let's go and compare it to are they still the GOAT? They'll always be the GOAT, probably for the foreseeable future. It'd be very hard to beat them. Now, the market cap of Aave is still down crazy. It's down 80%. So this market cap was massive, absolutely massive. We're going to have a look here, flick on market cap, and you can see it basically touched 8 billion in the previous cycle. And now it's been rising. If we zoom in a little bit, maybe the last three months, you can see it's been as low as about 1.25 bill, and it's just gone over 2 bill, and it's just come on down a little bit. So this is a competition. Aave is getting more mindshare. DeFi is probably the best use of using crypto. And the Camino token is still not on people's radar. So we've got a couple of options. We can come back to Dupe and we can just buy it and then set a limit order. We can go directly to Camino Finance and actually connect our wallet and then have a look here in governance and staking. You've probably got some that you can actually stake in order to get a rewards boost if you're using Camino. So I'm just looking at this quickly in terms of this liquidity pool, claiming some rewards because you may be in this liquidity pool. We'll have a quick look at the analytics before we go back and talk about Camino. So because Judo Sol is actually increasing in value, we're probably going to have some sort of divergence loss but I'm still going to stay in it because these things kind of even out. We are potentially going to be hitting like $200 pretty soon with Solana. Not financial advice, just some sort of idea. And you can see if we just held Jito Sol, we'd be up a little bit more. And if we just token pair hodled over the last seven days, we would be up. But as we're looking at over 30 days, we are doing okay. And we earned some rewards as well. If we have a look at the activity log, this was put in around seven days so now if Jito Sol starts to go higher and higher, so if the actual Solana token price goes to 170, then I'll probably withdraw this because my divergence loss will start to actually accumulate. So let me just show you the other liquidity here with Camino. It's this vault here. If you want to jump into this, I'm in it with another wallet. I'm not in it with this particular challenge because I want to try and make some faster gains. So let's go and buy some Camino tokens and then we can go and set an actual sell order on them. So we're going to go selling... We've got some PYUSD. We want some Camino here. And I said 150. We'll swap that. Just check your slippage settings here. Okay, so we've now swapped this. Let's go to our limit order. And ideally, we would do this at something like phoenix.trade. So if phoenix.trade actually had the Camino token, which I'm not sure if it does, but if it did, we know that it would hit if we actually want to get that kind of sold. But we don't actually have the Camino token to sell. We can set a limit order. If it dips down, we know it gets filled. However, limit orders on Jupiter, sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're not. So we've got a Camino here in the top. We'll change this to USDC because that is a preference. And I'm just going to go half. And I'm going to go at a not a crazy high price, but like $0.08. Cents, just to kind of get a few more profits. That's fine. And then I want to have another half. 
that I'm going to sell at 11 cents. And then finally, I've got this small bag here, which I'm not going to leave as a moon bag. I'm going to effectively leave it as a moon bag. I'm going to put it at 20 cents. Meanwhile, we'll still use Camino and we'll still actually grab some Camino tokens by using Camino. So that's what I'm doing with the 10K to 100K challenge right now. Remember to go and buy $200 worth a ton, not financial advice, but if you're following what I'm following. I'm buying on a centralized exchange for now and I'll work out how to do it using some sort of decks and bridge in the next video.